On the dividend news, we do have Lockheed Martin, which hiked its dividend by 4.8% to $3.30 quarterly. Uh, they have been raising their dividend for 22 consecutive years. I am a dividend shareholder of uh, Lockheed Martin. I was actually expecting a higher dividend raise, but uh, at least it was a hike. And the second to last one, guys, we have is RPM, uh, which hiked uh, its dividend by 10.9% to 51 cents quarterly per, per share. This marks 51 consecutive years of dividend increases. And the last one is more of an expected dividend hike for the month of October 2024. They are expecting potentially AVI, uh, ExxonMobil, Visa, AOS, uh, WST, Starbucks, ROL, and then BRO. Lockheed Martin already announced it, and then AFL, and then HPQ. What's up, everybody? This is Antonio here to bring you episode 259 of the Portfolio Up. Day. so you guys already know it's sunday it's time to go over the portfolio what i bought what i sold what dividends came in what options i placed and guys my options were actually exercised this week so we're gonna be going over that because uh you guys already know that every single sunday we come back we look at the dividend uh i guess what our projections are for our monthly income for dividends uh, this will actually go down because i did have to uh, cover those uh, positions or those puts and uh, that was gonna have to go come out of the snsxx which is a little bit over a five percent dividend yield so it'll be interesting i'm already ready for this to go down we'll see where we are at uh, especially now that a uh, majority of that money is invested into equities which honestly i'm kind of happy because you never know what would happen uh, with these equities they continue going up or they could start going down but uh, over the long term we're going to continue to dollar cost average accumulate shares and uh, you know our future selves will think of uh, one thing I do want to show you guys here though is annual dividends I got an opportunity this past week to make one video uh, I showed you guys how much we made for the month of June I still have a couple more videos which I'll probably make some this week and then we'll try to wrap it up but guys for 2024 so far if you only include up to june we have made four thousand eighteen dollars and seventy two uh seventy two cents uh for 2023 four thousand four hundred ninety three and that's for all 12 months guys we've already surpassed this and you guys can see their staircase getting larger and larger over the years we started investing back in 2019 which was really awesome seeing this growth we look at quarterly dividends uh q2 we finally wrapped it up uh, in the fat last three months or i guess the q2 uh, we made uh, $1,756.76. Uh, we'll be interesting to see how much we made in total for Q3. And then we're working on Q4 now. I do show you on options though, guys. Uh, October has started. We have made $0 in premiums from options, but that's okay because right now we are at a 5.42% uh, you know, return on our money invested which is really, really great, guys. We might actually not even have to uh, try to collect crumbs anymore. Uh, actually, I don't have any more money to actually continue to place cash secure puts, so we might do a cover called. Uh, we'll see where, uh, you know, what I think about that, and, uh, you know, we'll take advantage where we can because this is extra money on top of our dividends, on top of the gains, and uh, you gotta love it. Uh, and then, guys, if we do show you, we've made a total of 6700 $52.75 in the past, uh, what is it, 10, 9 months or so. And uh, we still have uh, mostly October, November, and December. We'll see if we play some covered calls. We'll see what happens there. And, uh, you know, we'll see there. Uh, if we uh, show you the dividend payouts, we do have two companies so far that uh, are expected to pay out. We have MasterCard, which they'll be paying out on the 8th of uh, November. They will be going ex dividend date on the 9th of uh, October. So I will be buying some of Microsoft, uh, not Microsoft, MasterCard, because uh, I do have a goal, which I'll show you that shortly. We also have Microsoft here, which they did hike their dividend, and I actually got assigned 200 shares of Microsoft, so it'll be interesting because we got that raise there. Uh, if I show you here, guys, the goals, 
right we come back every single sunday look at these goals see if we're focused uh make sure that we stay disciplined and uh, we'll see where we end up by the end of the year it'll be very exciting we've came a long way if we look back at uh, january and then uh, the first goal is to reach 20,000 subscribers this was more towards my channel so if you're new to the channel consider subscribing with that notification definitely would appreciate it guys as well if you wouldn't mind dropping a big thumbs up on the video the these videos do take a little bit of my time so i definitely appreciate it if you do it i cost you nothing and uh, helps you guys uh, help a small youtuber uh, goal number two guys is to reach 400 25 dollars per month on average uh this one's going to be really interesting guys because we do have a, i guess it's projected to make a little bit over 600 in my uh dividend scripts but uh, now that a lot of my money from snxxx is invested in back into equities this will be more accurate now so it'll be interesting to see that goal number three is to reach hundred and twenty six thousand dollars invested of my own money guys we are at a hundred and twenty four thousand five hundred twenty six dollars so we're slowly chipping away at it guys every single week we uh, have about uh what is it a thousand five hundred ish more dollars so we'll see if we achieve it i think we will this one's definitely worth it uh this one's in my control so i'm gonna make sure that one gets done as well as goal number four is to dollar cost average a hundred dollars into the portfolio at a minimum no matter what the market's doing we are continuing to do that i'll show you that in the history when i jump over to the Schwab account goal number five is to drip an additional 25 dollars or i guess buy 25 dollars worth of a company that is about to go ex date so that it drips uh you know a little bit more and those little crumbs start rolling and compounding much faster uh, last year i believe i was doing a hundred dollars this year i'm a little bit more tight on money so i'm doing 25 dollars but uh you know we'll see what next year does i might even put it to where i'm buying a full share every time a company goes extended we'll see where we are financially there and then goal number six guys is to actually try to aim about a hundred dollars per month and uh, selling options we are destroying this one guys we are way above a hundred dollars there and then goal number seven is to get to three thousand shares of shd uh three thousand shares after the x i guess after they split which uh shd is splitting for every share that you do own you will be getting three shares of schd i believe that happens on the 10th of october so uh, we should be close to 3000 we'll see how long it takes us but we got to get it done before the end of december and uh, it'll be definitely exciting so if i do show you guys the actual account here you'll see that the portfolio is at 274,251 dollars and 17 cents on the day change it's about 861 dollars 34 cents which is about point 0.32% in the green. On the last month, we are up by almost $9,000, which is about a 3.39%. Uh, pretty good. Not, uh, you know, can't complain about that. Overall, though, if we look at the last two years, we, I guess I'll show you guys the year to date, uh, which will be interesting. Year to date, we're up 21.6264%. Again, guys, awesome return there. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't believe it includes the option premium there, but if you do know, let me know in the comment section. But uh, guys, 21.64%. Uh, super happy with that if uh, it doesn't include the options return that we've collected so far that's an additional five or six percent on top of that so 26 percent uh, return and then if we do look at the year to date we are up 62.02 that's the last two years guys uh, you know cannot complain almost doubling my uh, you know investment which I've only invested about hundred and twenty five thousand dollars in this portfolio and that's how much it's grown in the I guess since 2019 and uh, I'm super happy with that. If I do show you guys here the positions, you'll see that uh, total gains, we are at $36,414.02, which is about a 15.32%. Uh, cash balance right now, we have $150.02, so we could buy uh, maybe two shares of SCHD. And then, uh, guys, we have 216 shares of Microsoft. We have almost $91,000 in this, almost 100K in Microsoft. We have about, uh, we have over 100 shares in Google, which is about $24,000 we have invested. We have Costco 30 shares, uh, we, which is about 14,000 that we have invested, but it's worth about, uh, I accidentally clicked on this, 
worth about $26,000. And then uh, Lockheed Martin, guys, 34 shares with that dividend raise, which hopefully when we kick off the scripts, it should pick up that raise for us. My, uh, MasterCard and then uh, Visa, we have Meta. We got to accumulate some of these shares. A lot of my uh, gains from my Apple actually got moved into Microsoft and Google. Uh, so we're going to accumulate some more Apple slowly, but surely we have some Amazon uh, waste management and Nvidia guys. Uh, and then guys, the big one, we have SCHD 889 shares, 0.99 shares. So uh, we'll see where we end up. By the end of the, I guess before they split, uh, it will be close to. Hopefully, we can get to 900 shares, and uh, you know we'll see that split there. But uh, that's gonna be too um, too soon for us to get to 900 shares. I don't think so. Uh, we have about uh, 66 thousand dollars invested in it. It's worth about 75 thousand dollars now. And then S and S X X guys, we don't have quite a bit of money invested anymore. About 1,250 dollars in this so that's earning us about a five percent return a little to no risk uh, that's where i had most of my money but uh, i got assigned my 200 shares of microsoft which honestly i am very happy to be back into microsoft and uh, heavy in it because microsoft is not going anywhere anytime soon besides potentially going upwards and becoming more valuable uh, if we do look here guys on the portfolio gains we are actually in the gains, uh, which uh, is about $67,776.32. And then uh, that's a return of 33.48%. And then on the investment income, guys, we are projected to make about $6,593.03, which is averaging about $500. $49.42 uh, so we do have about a couple more months uh, really the first month of a quarter we are actually not really receiving anything I don't believe we have any stocks that actually pay out in October or the first month of every quarter so majority of those are going to become zero for us but uh, guys December the third month of every quarter is going to be the heaviest payment for our companies in my portfolio here if I do show you guys the transactions you'll see I have it to actually filter out from the 30th of uh, September uh, Schwab has a weird uh, you know bug but uh, I do have it to filter out all the way from the 30th of September all the way till today on the uh, 4th of October so if I show you guys here on the 30th we got a massive dividend guys from SEHD our dividend of uh, $661.82 guys uh, we do have that where it dripped back into itself bought about 7.8 shares at about $84 a share and uh, you know that's pretty awesome because that drip the following uh, you know quarter it'll pay even more and i'm super excited about that uh nvidia did also pay out its dividend of 13 cents on the 3rd of october we also got uh microsoft which we bought uh actually a hundred dollars worth of microsoft i bought it at 415 and uh we actually got the nvidia drip which was uh 13 cents it dripped back bought about 0 0.0011 uh i guess of the share and then we uh saw that we actually deposited a hundred dollars because of our goal to dollar cost average a hundred dollars at a minimum every single week uh because you know goals keep us focused guys and then guys uh we actually had uh, our shares or i guess our options uh, exercised which it forced us to buy a hundred shares at four hundred twenty seven dollars and fifty cents uh, spending about forty two thousand seven hundred fifty dollars uh, then the other one actually also got uh, assigned which was the Microsoft 100 shares at uh, four hundred thirty dollars which is about forty three thousand dollars and uh, you'll see that uh, these are the puts I did have they were assigned the good thing about uh, selling cash care puts is that I have the money to cover those if they do get assigned and I don't have to panic. All I have to do is put a position to sell. So we sell SNSXX. We sold out of it. I uh, sold out uh, $85,750. And uh, now I covered my position and we are good. We are not in margin. And, uh, you know, now we will be collecting the Microsoft dividends and uh, hopefully be continuing to get gains from Microsoft. Uh, we'll see what happens guys long term microsoft is an awesome investment and uh, i think we'll be getting some great returns uh for the long term right 
uh, you know, we might go into a recession. We might already be in a recession. We don't know, but uh, in the long term, Microsoft will be a very valuable company as it already is. It'll continue to grow. And uh, I can't wait to see what the returns that uh, we get from that. But uh, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and uh, jump over to the Google Sheet so I can kind of show you guys how much we collected in dividends, or I guess not in dividends, but uh, how much we grew our dividends or decreased them on a monthly basis. But uh, one thing I forgot real quick, we have this calculate dividends. Let's go ahead and see how much we collected in dividends this week. Completely passive, had to do absolutely nothing for that. So let's go ahead and click on it, calculate dividends. And uh, guys, we made $661.95. For doing absolutely nothing guys completely passive and that is the beautiful thing about that is that we will eventually at one point uh, live off of these dividends and uh, you know we'll just sleep do our hobbies and uh, that'll be very very awesome when we do achieve financial freedom and uh, let's go ahead and jump over to the Google Sheets guys all right guys so we're at the Google Sheets uh, you'll see that uh, I already have a copy of this over here so you can kind of see the difference again I'm already expecting this to actually go down because we sold as out, out of SNSXX which was a really high dividend yielding paying monthly uh, I guess mutual fund and uh, if I do show you though real quick uh, options October not doing too well so far zero dollars that's okay if we do that for the last couple months we still made a really great return which was a 5.42 percent return on my money invested which if i show you uh, we've been just collecting these little couple crumbs they add up over time and they've added up to six thousand seven hundred fifty two dollars and seventy five cents guys which i'm super happy there if i do show you the dividend payout uh, you'll see that we have these two companies uh, mastercard and microsoft when we actually go here to portfolio tools, click on get latest dividends. Uh, it'll actually go see if any of the companies in my portfolio announced dividends, which should we should see Lockheed Martin at least um, and uh, give it a second or two. And uh, there it goes, guys. Uh, we'll see. Uh, it looks like it's done. Actually, it only picked up the Lockheed Martin dividend, which is a 4.76 percent dividend raise, which uh, they will be going ex dividend date on the 12th. Uh, I guess not the 12th, the 2nd of uh, December. They'll be paying on the 27th of uh, December. And uh, yeah, guys, th I have these scripts available for free. All I ask in return, guys, is that you're subscribed with that notification. You drop a big thumbs up on my videos. Uh, you know, that's all it costs you. And I definitely appreciate it. If you do do that, uh, if you go to settings here, guys, we'll go ahead and get rid of this, which is an old copy of my portfolio from last week. Let's go ahead and jump over to Empower, which contains all my purchases from this past week. So we can kind of see how much we grew or, you know, went down in uh, dividend um, income. All right, guys, so we're at Empower on my Schwab account. You'll see this green button's called Copy Holdings. Click on it, give it a second or two. This copies the content of my portfolio. Uh, then we can go right click, uh, pay special values only. And uh, now we have the latest copy of my portfolio, uh, which uh, contains all these purchases. As you can see, this is actually an old snapshot, uh, which is $87,000 we had into SNSXX, which is not true. We also had 882 shares of SCHD. We were close to 890. Uh, so if we go to portfolio tools and uh, you click update portfolio holdings, this will get wiped. It'll parse out the new stuff that we just pasted. So let's go ahead and click on it. Give it a second or two. Uh, there it goes, guys. We can jump back over here and uh, let's see our projections. And uh, you'll see here, guys, actually went down way lower than I was expecting. So uh, dividend yield here, 1.60% uh, 1 .1, 1 compared to 2.97%. Yield on cost, guys, we are at 1.84% to 3.42% compared. Uh, we went almost half uh, down by the yearly so four thousand three hundred seventy eight dollars so what we're expected to make yearly uh, compared to last week of eight thousand one hundred thirteen dollars on the monthly though we are actually i guess this got sliced by half three hundred sixty four dollars eighty four cents compared to six seventy six with uh, twelve cents and uh, again microsoft has a very very low dividend yield but it does have a very very nice uh, five-year double-digit five-year Kager uh, so we will see if we can get to the our goal of uh, you know I believe it's we set 425 uh, that's gonna be a long uh, way to get to that guys 
but on the weekly we are at $84.19 compared to $156 and then on the day we're only making $11.99 compared to $22.23 and then hourly guys it's $0.50 cents compared to $0.93 cents every single hour and the hourly work wage this is if our portfolio was to go work a 40 hour work week they would get paid an hourly rate of two dollars and uh, ten cents compared to three dollars and ninety cents i guess they were doing a bad job they got a pay cut and uh eventually we're going to try to get this to minimum wage guys that'll be a huge milestone for us it'll be really awesome if we do achieve that um but uh, this is actually all I have for you guys in this update. Uh, don't forget to subscribe with the notification. Drop a big thumbs up on the videos. Definitely appreciate it. If you stuck all the way to the very end, let me know by dropping a hashtag Microsoft because we did get assigned 200 shares of Microsoft. We will see what happens with that. And uh, I'm super excited. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Take care. Stay safe out there. Bye, guys.